Hello, Matu Jamir, and you're watching on Real TV's Prime at 9. Now, headlines. Political leaders, including Prime Minister, President, Vice President, and others, expressed their grief at the passing away of veteran musician, singer Papi Lari. Modi said Lari's music was all encompassing. Parliamentary Standing Committee for Transport, Tourism and Culture on Wednesday expressed deep concern for Indians including students residing in Ukraine. Amid looming threat of war with Russia, the panel urged the Union government to prioritize their safe return. With a decline in positive COVID-19 cases in the state, the government has further curbed COVID restrictions in all social, cultural, sports, political, religious, entertainment, academic, functions and all other kinds of public gatherings outside containment zones. The government has permitted offline classes for students since 15 February 2022, subject to 50% attendance and parental consent of the student concerned and further subject to the fulfillment of all the conditions and SOPs to be issued by the Home Department. In a major breakthrough by the Special Operations Team of Dimapur Police, drugs worth Rs 5 crore has been seized. As per DCP Crime of Dimapur, who confirmed to Hornbill TV that the Dimapur Police seized huge quantities of about 1 lakh tablets of Yaba, World is Yours, contraband tablets. It has been informed that the consignment was inbound from Manipur en route to Assam. In connection with the case, two smugglers have been arrested. The case is under investigation, statement said. Nagaland's Chief Minister Nipuriyo and others kicked off the Naga People's Front campaign for the 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly election on Wednesday at Senapati District Headquarters. CMU, in his speech, said the election means a lot to the regional party as NPF is a fast movement party for the Naga people and therefore Naga unity means a lot for the negotiation and solution. Rio further said they have come to show solidarity and that Manipur and Nagaland as neighbours can grow together. Ministers and embassies, we have come here to show our solidarity with you. And we wish and we want you to do well. Because today's election means a lot to the regional party. As mentioned, NPF, the mass movement party for the Naga Coast. Therefore, Naga unity means a lot for the negotiation and for bringing solutions. United Democratic Alliance Chairman T.R. Ziliang also spoke at the rally and asserted that the party has stood against the test of time and that the NPF is a people's movement towards solution for the people. When we look back into the history of this NPF party, we understand that the NPF, that the NPF party was formed specifically for the welfare of the Naga people by like-minded Naga leaders under the leadership of late A. Kibichasa. When we look back, Earlier, Achumbe Mokikon, Secretary General and PF Central Kohima, made the introduction of the 10 candidates. The Chief Minister was accompanied by a host of advisors and signatories. 
PJP's national president JP Nada will be launching the party's election manifesto in Manipur on Thursday. Election manifesto committee headed by Union Minister R.K. Ranjan at press conference said the new manifesto has been drafted after true consultation with different stakeholders, which included different civil society organizations, cultural organizations, and sports persons. He also added that feedback from more than one lakh common citizens have been taken through suggestion boxes. To a question asked by Hornbill TV about removal of AFSPA, R.K. Ranjan says his party also wanted it to be removed but they don't want to mention about it in the manifesto with definite timeline. About scheduled tribe status demand at Meiti community, R.K. Ranjan says it is a constitutional ordinance will be removed by the government of India as a normal practice as such. They are not mentioning about it election manifesto. It can be mentioned that all other political parties have already released their manifestos. We also feel the sentiments of people of Manipur, and we hope it will be removed as and when needed to be We will do it. But we would like to mention the uh, manifesto. This compulsory after observation. For those things, that is a normal thing. The government of India ordinance is a different thing. We cannot add it in the manifesto, but that will be an action of our governments. We will do it as and when it is the right times. The government has permitted offline classes for students since 15 February 2022 subject to 50% attendance and parental consent of the student concerned and further subject to the fulfillment of all the conditions and SOP to be issued by the Home Department. Hornbill TV today visited a couple of schools to check the atmosphere in the schools as the pandemic really hampered the school's operational capacity. And on checking the ground reality, many smiling faces of students could be seen. Let's have a look at a detailed report with a report. So we are here at Hebron Higher Secondary School, Sovima Village, to know how the classes are going on and how, what was the response of the parents and students. Okay, we, here we have the principal of the school. Let's know more from him. Yes, sir. How, how is the response of the parents? The response from the parents is good so far. Uh, actually, uh, parents are very happy that the school is open after a very long gap. So, so far we are getting a very good response from the parents and uh, students are also happy and they are back to school now and everything is functioning and, uh, in a very normal way. Okay, sir, can we know like, how you are maintaining SOPs as for now in the offline class mode? Uh, we are maintaining 50% uh, uh, attendance as of now. Uh, though schools are opened, uh, only 50% are coming to attend the class. And uh, uh, to maintain uh, complete SOP, there are certain challenges. But uh, uh, as, uh, as to the best of our ability, we are maintaining the SOP and uh, it's functioning normally now. We maintained 50% uh, uh, attendance and in that way uh, students are less and uh, for our classroom every day we do the uh, cleaning and also uh, we have a fogging machine and so we, we, we clean the classroom every day after the class. Uh, especially class 9 and above, uh, almost everybody is vaccinated and in the lower class, uh, uh, since they are uh, still there below 15 years and in that way uh, uh, we haven't started yet. We have some uh, high school students with us and uh, we'd like to know uh, what is the difference of uh, high, uh, offline classroom mode and online classroom mode and that also after such a long gap. Yes, uh, hello. Uh, Regarding this offline class and online class, it's like better for us to attend class and since if we attend our online class also like we can't concentrate as we are staying at home and the environment there is completely different than being here in the school. So like attending our offline class is much more better than we are at Yes, we have one more idea. Can we know like which one do you prefer, offline or online classroom mode? According to me, I prefer the 
of uh, offline class since uh, through online class uh, there are some major major casualties like net problem all those things but through uh, online offline class we are, we get to know a lot more than the online class yeah we have some more students uh, would like to know them why uh, which one is more better offline mode or online classroom mode yes can we know some few points from you online class is um like we face a lot of difficulties to attend online class sometimes when we are like we are not from here also sometimes we go to our village or during our break or this during the pandemic we happen to go to our village and there is a lot of difficulties like we face net problem also and sometimes we got some more like uh, even attending class we don't understand much like uh Offline class is much more better according to me. There is a big gap between uh, online and offline classes. Exam mode, okay. Offline and online, which one will you prefer as a student? Uh, I'd rather prefer offline exam because maybe if we give online exam, there may be like waste of cheating. But uh, maybe we don't know much even in offline, but it, it's better to stay true to ourselves and not cheat ourselves and write our own exam. Uh, do you have any message to the government, especially to the government? Yeah, as a student, I would like to say that uh, schools to remain open and like maintain proper SOPs and yeah, give us time to study in our schools. It is a Hornbill TV gun. It is a it is the government higher secondary school day. Can I say? Our idea, Mikan students can get offline classroom. The boy did he say? Our Tahan class to a full swing day. Chuli as a. Our Amigan it is staffs can not do look what I go home. It is Amigan Janice. Classroom day face marks marks to a leg them compulsory. Curry this you wish. Our social distancing look what I would mean. Question grab them the Megan Janice. Six feet distance to a look. Thick rule na pare ni ki kwa tu amigan jani. Kine mane students kan bishe se classroom kan dolop chitu aze. Itu orne holi bi paratok social distancing bi maintain kuri aze kui na ta kan jana idhi se amigan ge. Iti amigan no the school laga iti classroom the teacher ekta aze. To amigan tai lo tibi lop kotha jani. Wo iti students kan la turn up to holi bi response family or parents kan la kine gasi iti. Response ni bali aze. Aro students kan bi ni bali right regular aye aze. Aru class tu ille kiman kiman da subjects kan tu luas ek din ti tiat. Kali rai start kru ese do ini kali tu lep kiba aji baru normal classes ini last period talk lu ese. Ami kan ede students kan lu ti lep kotha jani wa. Ede students kan ge tahan do offline class prefer kure na online class tu prefer kure classroom tu itu lep jani wa. Yes, kun tu prefer no le kun tu khushi pa yafni offline na online. Aku gule do offline ni balas e. क्या नहीं कुले लाइक टीचर आना दे नहीं फेस टू फेस करना है ना तो आना एक्सप्लेनेशन होनी ना इन्हीं डॉट कॉन्टेक्ट ले क्लियर करो पर है उधर इधर है सर तो ऑनलाइन क्लास तो किले मन खुशी ना पाए सब मन लादे फोन ना था के निजर लव पर्सनल तो लव दो गजरों नेटवर्क इश्यू हम भी देख किते हो ना तो शी Hutau hutau di kurang tempat kami kan itu bi jenis. Vaksinasi bi school di provide bi kuri tak jenis. Ini kan bi jenis kami kan. Aro takkan itu class tu lihat full swing berjaya sih. Aro students kan lodi bi jenis kami kan. Tahan preference tu lihat offline ni asih ini kan kui na itu bi kami kan jenis payah sih. To kami kan itu report tu lihat government higher secondary school cuma kiri mana district peralu ya sih. Mau report tu jiwan rai with camera person Arun Lotha for Hornbill. With a decline in positive COVID-19 cases in the state, the government has further curbed COVID restrictions in all social, cultural, sports, political, religious, entertainment, academic functions and all other kinds of public gatherings outside containment zones. Shopping complexes, restaurants, cinema halls, theatres, parks, places of entertainment and recreation areas will be allowed to be open beyond 50% and up to 100% capacity. In connection to travel directives, the requirement for carrying a negative COVID-19 test report for persons above 12 years of age, including those fully vaccinated, entering Nagaland has been withdrawn. Our reporter Esther got an exclusive entry into the arrival terminal of the Mapur Airport today to see how the lifting of restrictions have been implemented. Let's have a look. At uh, the Dimapur Airport, and as we have the new director of the Dimapur Airport, Mr. VK Yome. Thank you, sir, for speaking to Hornbill Welcome. TV. Uh, we are going to speak about the new restrictions that have been lifted yesterday by the government of Nagaland, and the restrictions have been lifted in the travel 
department as well. So uh, we're going to speak on this. Uh, so, sir, is the de um, airport authority checking about the new rules about RT-PCR, negative RT-PCR reports that should not be checked? We are here in our airport authority of India. Uh, we are not checking. Uh, we are following as per the state government's instruction. The SOP is what uh, state government is given to our uh, airport. Accordingly, we are coordinating and we are following as per the SOP of the state government. And regarding the rest uh, restriction lift, uh, lifting, still till now we did not receive any order from the officially from state government. So uh, now we are waiting for that. Yes. Right, so as long as the government does not officially send out a statement to the airport authority, then only uh, the authority can take action on not uh, uh, taking the RTPCR. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. yes. So, sir, uh, is there a delay or does this usually happen? Because yesterday the restrictions were lifted. Now, when do you expect this uh, official statement to come from the government of Nagaland? Delay, I cannot say uh, because I'm also just uh, recently joined us in the uh, airport director. So earlier cases, I have no idea, but uh, as you have said that uh, the order has come yesterday only, that what you have said, but we have no information on that. Okay. So that is what uh, we are waiting for the uh, order, okay. official order. Okay. So I can see that uh, passengers are not being checked or uh, I think we have our uh, Minister of Rural Development, Sir Mitsubu is also, who is just arriving. Uh, <laughs> And, um, uh, sir, so I can see that, yes, not uh, many uh, passengers are not being checked at this point for their negative RT-PCR report. Everyone is coming here. And also, we do still have the health department that is stationed over there. So, uh, we can go and ask, sir, we can oh, just yes. go and ask. So, this is the health department uh, the personnel who are stationed here. And I can see that they're asking for the second dose covid vaccination certificate so now that was always compulsory but then the last few months the negative rt-pcr report was compulsory but now since that is not compulsory they are being checked for the second dose of covid vaccination report so i just want to know is the rt-pcr negative rt-pcr uh, reports being checked or not oh yes we are checking now but we have recently changed the sop so uh, right now, we are uh, checking the second dose vaccination certificate or RT-PCR negative certificate. Either either one, either negative test report or second dose vaccination. All right. But uh, now that the restrictions have been lifted yesterday, is there any word not to check these things right now? The thing is that uh, if they have the test report mm -hmm. or if they have the vaccination uh, second dose certificate, we won't be checking. But if they have the first, oh, they have only the first dose, we will be taking the sample from there and after that they can go. Yeah, that is the current SOP of now. Okay, so are you leaving, departing for somewhere? Yes, I'm going to Hyderabad. Hyderabad. So, so are you carrying a negative RT-PCR report? Yes, of course, with me all the time. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you took the report uh, from Nagalin, from Dimapur? This is the ID. I'm making my ID for two injection. Uh, okay, this is the COVID vaccination? Yes, COVID, yeah, yeah. COVID vaccination certificate. So what about a negative uh, report? I think we don't, uh, uh, not uh, necessary to uh, domestic, okay. only for international. Uh, no, no. Huh? Domestic does have a few cities, so is Hyderabad, if we, you're doing... I called yesterday to Delhi, Delhi, not, not, um, no, no need. Okay. Yeah, only to injection. Right. After the government of Nagaland lifted travel restrictions in the state, the airport authority is saying that uh, they have not received any official statement to uh, direct them that uh, no RT-PCR is required and uh, the COVID vaccination certificate is being checked right now today. Today is the first day after the restrictions have been lifted and a lot of people as we can see earlier, as we saw earlier that the negative RT-PCR report was not being checked and as the director, the new director also said that they are waiting for the official confirmation and statement from the government of Nagaland because um, they have to send it across to the ministry and then upload it in their portal, their official portal so that passengers traveling, uh, departure and arrival will know what is required to enter the state and leave the state to other states. Reporter Esther with camera person Sayer for Hornbill TV. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on February 16 while addressing a public rally in Badnagdot 
took a jibe at the opposition parties and called the Aam Aadmi Party a Xerox copy of the Congress Party. If Congress is original, then AAP is its Xerox copy, he said. One looted Punjab while the other one is involved in scams in Delhi, PM Modi said. The Punjab Assembly elections will be held on February 20. Congress Party ki kartutau ka saath dene ke liye ab unhe partner in crime bhi mil gaya hai partner in crime bhi mil gaya hai aap dekhiye kinti kitni samanta hai dono dalo mein ek ne Punjab ke yuvao ko nase ke jal mein dhakela दूसरी पार्टी दिल्ली के युवाओं को शराब का लती बनाने में लगी हुई है भाइयों बहनों इतना ही नहीं एक ने पंजाब को लूटा दूसरी दिल्ली में एक के बाद एक घोटाले कर रही Taking a jibe at Congress during a public rally in Patan Court, Punjab Prime Minister Narendra Modi on February 16 said that whenever Bharatiya Janata Party government is established, the remote control family sitting in Delhi automatically gets inactive. Vikas ka jo silsila bhajpa ki sarkar mein shuru hota hai. जनता भी ऐसा साथ देती है ऐसा साथ देती है कि कभी विकास का काम रुकता नहीं है एक और बात भी आपने देश भर में देखी होगी जहां एक बार भाजपा के पैर जम जाते हैं वहां दिल्ली में बैठकर रिमोट कंट्रोल से सरकार चलाने वाले परिवार की छुट्टी हो जाती है समाजवादी पार्टी चीफ अखिलेश यादव ऑन फेब्रुवरी सिक्सटीन वेल एड्रेसिंग ए पब्लिक रैली इन ओरिया उत्तर प्रदेश हिट आउट ऑफ द भारतीय जनता पार्टी रिगार्डिंग द लखीमपुर कैरी केस एंड सेड दैट इफ दे कम इन टू पावर सच कल्प्रिट्स विल गो टू जेल द पार्टीज गवर्नमेंट इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर्म एंड समाजवादी पार्टी अश्योर्स द पीपल दैट इट विल डू सच by V that those who killed farmers will go to jail and arrangements will also be made to send their protectors to jail, he added. The results of the UPSM elections will be declared on March 10. एक अदालत से तो हो सकता है जमानत मिल गई हो लेकिन बताओ ये जनता की अदालत है उससे जमानत मिलनी चाहिए थी कि नहीं मिलनी चाहिए थी लेकिन जिसे जमानत दिलवा दी है हम समाजवादी लोग भरोसा दिलाते हैं कि सरकार बनने वाली है ऐसी पैरवी होगी क्या जिसने किसानों की जान ली वो तो जाएंगे जाएंगे जेल लेकिन उनको पालने पोसने वालों को भी जेल भेजने का काम आने वाले समय में होगा Political leaders on Wednesday expressed their grief at the passing away of veteran musician singer Papi Lari following multiple health issues in Mumbai at the age of 69. Among the first to mourn the composer's death was Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He said people across generations could relate to his work and that his lively nature would be missed by all. Taking to Twitter, Modi wrote Sri Papi Lari. This music was an encompassing beautifully expressing diverse emotions people across generations could relate to his work his lively nature will be missed by everyone saddened by his demise condolences to his family and admirers om shanti president ramnath kovin west bengal chief minister mamta Banerjee, home minister amit shah and others controlled the death of the veteran singer
The Parliamentary Standing Committee for Transport, Tourism and Culture on Wednesday expressed deep concern for Indians, including students residing in Ukraine, amid a looming threat of war with Russia and urged the Union government to prioritize their safe return. The, this comes after the Indian Embassy in Ukraine issued an advisory stating the nationals, particularly students whose stay is not essential, may consider leaving temporarily. As per reports, there is no official numbers of students in Ukraine, but there are currently thousands of students in different places in Ukraine and there is a demand for the safe return in India. Raising the issue in the meeting, a member of the committee urged the committee chairman to take up the issue of the safe return of Indians from Ukraine with concerned ministries. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.